Today, we're gonna to be reacting to the most unique homes ever. They're different. And we're gonna kick things off with this cave house. Cave house, cave house. Yeah, this is how man used to live back in them cave days. They literally renovated a cave and turned it into their home. That's cool. I bet that's pretty good for like utilities. It keeps it really cool. Oh, dog. Who cares? Oh, look at that. That's he's, nice. He's farming. Coming in at number two. This is like a, a home on a home on a rock in the middle of the ocean. And it's got its own beach. Could you imagine the only way getting to your house is by either a helicopter or a boat? Let's figure out a way to make a Mr. Beast video on this so we can go here. This looks cool. Torturing my friend Chris for 24 hours. On a private island? On a private house. Whatever it takes to get me there. Also, we got to take the helicopter. I know you're I'm scared afraid of, of helicopters. I know you are. I'm taking the boat. You take the helicopter. Okay. Although boats make me sick. I'm taking whatever's in between a boat and a helicopter. Jet ski. This is on Becker Creek. Beckham. This is a cave home. Big cave home guy. Whoa. And they got lights and stuff? Yo, okay. that's pretty cool. So it's a house that's naturally integrated as part of a cave. Basically like the other cave house, but 10 times cooler. Wait, did you, it's dripping. What do you do about the drip? Yo, it's got that drip, dog. The water and the rooms are all naturally built around the architecture of the cave. Oh my, the hallways and everything are just part of the cave. This is amazing. Look at that. That is just part of the cave that they turned into a a home. Can I stay here? Why are people going to islands? Uh, cave homes. This is what appears to be a bunker house. This is where you go to live if you've just completely stopped trusting in government. You think 5G towers are, you know, causing Cancer. illnesses and stuff like that. Yeah, this is where you want to live if you're crazy. A nice fireplace. You can't be in a secure home without a good fireplace. Yes. All right, this is island house. That's a large island for such a small house. How did they get the wood there? Is this just this one guy living out here? You know what? That's me when I finally get fed up with society. I'm gonna stop spending so much money so I can just buy an island and actually put a real house on it. It's like, at least you don't have to worry about people out here. When you do that, then I'll react to your house. So then you can buy an island. And then Chandler reacts to you reacting to me, and then he buys an island. Holy crap, we just found an infinite island glitch. Yo, this is a whole castle. Is that Minecraft? I have seen this building probably in Minecraft, and now I think I'm seeing it for the first time in real life. So apparently when it's low tide, you can drive here. But when it's high tide, the island's completely cut off. So did the people just get stuck there at certain times of the day? And they're like, oh, can't leave. Water says no. That's cool. All right, so this is a hut on top of a mountain. More of a box. Is that one little cable stopping it from falling over? I wouldn't trust it. Good coffee shot. That's a good hut. I'm a hut guy. I like huts. I, you know, I'm such a big fan of huts. Some people call me Jabba. Some people call me pizza. God, we are on fire today. There's no funnier people than us right now. Plane house. This is a plane that apparently was turned into a house. This looks like that video game, The Forest. Yes. So welcome to my 727 home. Which got here first, the plane or the house? It's like, the old chicken, the egg. Yeah. Did the plane crash there and he make it his house or did he buy a plane to make it his house? Do you think we should just watch the video to find out or just speculate? Probably just watch the video. Okay. It's a frequent work site and recreational site for me. It's also our concert on a wing site. He has concerts on the wings of his plane. <laughs> yeah, why not, I guess? Just the sheer beauty of aerospace technology, the exhilaration. Oh, okay, so he's a big plane fan, this guy. I don't think I would want to live there, but kudos to him. The Sky Spear. Whoa. Oh. All right. I'm picking up what you're putting down now. I like different houses. So, so you climb the cylinder, and where does it take you? Into your sky deck. Really? That's the home? I mean, you're hating on this guy's sky deck. Look Ooh, at that. Okay. Now have, I under, now it all makes sense. You have Cokes just delivered to you through a hole. This would be really dope to spend a night at and just look at the view and everything. I like it. You said all around and it's a circular home. Perimeter detection system. The moment you step foot on the property, blinds go down, two-way voices activated, the camera locks on you. Oh, the, the three frames per second camera locks right on you. I'm so terrified. So apparently this is one of the most secured homes on the planet. Someone were to get up to this point, you have to assume by now they're really here to do damage. It's all ballistic. Bomb proof. What? We can also tactically deal with them at that point too. Yo, what? Fog machine can deliver fog that's completely benign. Now I don't feel like I'm robbing someone innocent. I feel like it's someone giving me a challenge. Don't ask for a challenge like that because we're gonna come and knock. Yeah, don't secure your homes. That makes people want to rob them more. This is a World War II British C fort. Oh, yo, from really far away, it looks like the things. The AT-ATs? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Star Wars. So these were C forts. This is what you trusted the defense of your country with. That's why you guys lost in 1776, even though this was after. <laughs> I just like dabbing on the British. Here, let's hit another dab on the British. Hey, 
Boom. Get out of here, British. Get out of our country. Go drink some tea. All right, this is an invisible tree house. Yeah, I'm down. Maybe everyone else would like to be a kid up a tree. Hey, Jimmy. I don't care, shut up. I'm learning about an invisible tree house. Being the impression that it's just floating in the forest. That's so, it's like. Ah, I love it. Wait, wait, wait. When he painted it, he painted clouds on the side. I bet there are clouds in the air. And now that there's no clouds, what? That's a mirror. No, it isn't. That's a mirror. No, that's a painting. Why would they just not use reflective glass, Jimmy? Jimmy thought that was a painting. Ah! I am shocked. I'm so distraught. That table made me get slimed. Oh, it's cold. Screw you, table. Regardless, that's really cool. Having a structure in the middle of the woods, surrounded by mirrors so it blends in. Why do more people not have that? One downside. What? All the birds smacking into it. <laughs> Imagine, you're just a bird. You're just enjoying your day. <laughs> really? <laughs> hey, next up on the list is the seed bank. The most important room in the world, someone has said. I don't know what I'm looking at, but this is filmed by Veritasium, and I love him. They keep a copy of every scene. Yeah, so if like the world was to end or something. In a worst case scenario, it should preserve the diversity of the world's food crop. That's so smart to do this, like just in case. You can actually feel the moisture in your nose freeze, so. More important, Veritasium has some white teeth. He does. Proud of you, Derek. Keep flossing. Okay, this is a safe house in Warsaw, Poland. You know that means it's extra safe. So you just, you see a giant black cube and you just assume that's just a giant black cube. Yeah. Nada. Nope. It's a house. This is gonna be the lamest transformer ever. This looks like a modernized house. But nice. if you flip a switch, it transforms into a secure bomb bulletproof cube. Big cube. Get those pyramids out of here. Cubes are the best. And up next is arguably one of the safest places on the earth. Safer than the White House. Really? This giant underground bunker. We did an entire video Wait. where we spent 24 hours here. <laughs> We wait here, that's yeah. so cool. And so it's 15 stories underground and it's fully sealed off by like multiple feet of just straight concrete. We went to all these rooms. Fun fact, I watched Madagascar in that movie theater. It's a library, I played chess here. I lost chess. This all of this is mini stories underground. It's crazy. And they're actually, or they were, it might've already sold out, but they were actually selling like little apartments down there. So if like something goes wrong, you can go live underground there. Fully self-sustaining. I sound like a real estate agent, but it's really cool. I'll take it. Ooh, what? What? They could have just built a house, but instead they built it like a little bit to the right on a pond and probably made it cost 10 times more real estate you call it a lake it's a moat i don't know you can call it what you want he's like ah who cares we got it's a lake it's a moat yada hey, yada we're rich we're rich we got big money the way he's standing what he's wearing yo this guy actually is a villain yeah he is if you Everyone, own the black swan high alert put him on alert list he's about to help an alien ship come and conquer the world i said you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do these gazebos out in the water you gotta jump and have stepping stones going across and that'll take it and tear it apart visually 10.9 million honestly Honestly, that seems relatively cheap. Yeah. I would never spend that kind of money on a house, so yeah. we're clear. I was guessing like in the 20s at yeah, least. Yeah, I, I would have said like 25 million. Wow. That's insane. Let's do a few thousand React videos, mm -hmm. not pay you, not feed your kid, okay. not buy my girlfriend anything. Of course. And use all the money to buy that in 10 years. Subscribe.